Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Rock and Metal News video. Jack Black addresses the backlash that he got over Kyle Gass talking about Donald Trump. Hey, what up everybody? It's your boy Trevor. Back with another Rock and Metal News video. Tenacious D shut down their touring last month after backlash over Kyle Gass' controversial remark on stage about the Donald Trump assassination attempt. But now co-founder Jack Black is offering his first comments on the band's future after putting all activities on hold. In announcing the remainder of their tour cancellation last month, Black said in a statement, After much reflection, I no longer feel it is appropriate to continue the Tenacious D tour, and all future creative plans are on hold. He added, I am grateful to the fans for their support and understanding. About Tenacious D's future with Black clarifying that the band does intend to return. He went on to tell Variety that he had been in touch with Gas since the tour cancellation. We're friends, that hasn't changed, said the actor-musician-comedian. These things take time sometimes. And we'll be back when it feels right. Driving home his feelings about his band, Black showed up to the film premiere with his magical guitar pick from Tenacious D in The Pick of Destiny. He also told the interviewer, Look what I wore today. I wore The Pick of Destiny. I love Tenacious D. It's probably my favorite job, if you can call it that. It's a work of art. It's my baby. The aftermath following Kyle Gass Trump comment the outcry came swiftly following Gass on stage remark. Australian Senator Ralph Babbitt shared public statement branded for a media release, calling for the deportation of Tenacious D's members and the revocation of their visas. The senator called on Primate Minister Anthony Albanese to denounce the band and its members while issuing the aforementioned request to Immigration Minister Giles. Gass, meanwhile, initially offered a public apology calling his comments, highly inappropriate, dangerous and a terrible mistake. He continued, I don't condone violence of any kind, in any form, against anyone. What happened was a tragedy, and I'm incredibly sorry for my severe lack of judgment. I profoundly apologize to those I've let down and truly regret any pain I've caused. The actor-musician-comedian was reportedly dropped by his talent agency after making the comment. As for Black, he's back in the spotlight, kind of, this weekend, as he voices the character Claptrap in the action comedy film Borderlands, which also stars Kate Blanchett, Kevin Hart and Jamie Lee Curtis. The movie opens Friday, August 9th. So as somebody who is a fan of Jack Black, watched his movies, enjoyed what he did, uh, Kyle Gass is the one who said the comment and everybody's going after Jack Black because Jack Black, more popular dude, right? And even Joe Rogan said, well, Kyle Gass didn't know what he was saying because he's a 60 year old somebody who doesn't really understand that basically when you're at a concert, people film it, people upload clips and so on and so forth. But again, He's saying we're taking a break and basically how I look at it is he's taking a break until all this hoopla goes away and then he'll be back out there. But I think the way that the cancel culture works is if he would have came out and said what they said and continuously did the tour and kept playing and never canceled anything, it would have went through the wayside because for one... There's still fans out there to say, yeah, he said what he said. It sucks, but I'm going to rock with him anyway because I like the music and I like the comedy. There's other people out there to say what he said was disrespectful. But again, everybody has said something crazy in their life. Everybody has messed up some sort. Everybody has said some wacky stuff. You, me, we're all humans. But again... They say they will be back, but for now, it's on hiatus, so Jack Black is probably going to just focus on movies and doing those kinds of things instead of Tenacious D. But as always, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Is this band completely finished? Are they still going to be able to play maybe in a year from now? Or do you really even care? So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and enjoying today's Rock and Metal News video.